Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be understanding the registration process for TCS Code Vita because all of you know that TCS has announced it's one of the biggest competitions, fine, the biggest coding contest that TCS has to offer to you and this is the 13th season of this. The TCS Code Vita is not just a coding contest but also a job giving contest, fine. So if you actually perform well in this, you might be shortlisted for some interviews for various profiles at TCS and also some other companies as well sometimes contact you. So this is a very, very important coding contest. This is a very important competition. You must not miss it. Fine. Also, I have already told about the prize money. I've already told about the eligibility in an earlier live, which I had done on YouTube. So you can go ahead on Pepinsta channel in live streams. You can go ahead and check that out. Fine. So everything I have detailed, even the rounds and things like that, which can help you over this website. This video would be specifically focused on how to actually register for this particular program. Fine. So let's start and let's go step by step and understand how the registration goes on. So I'll simply click on this register. Fine. And once you click on this register, all you need to do is if you're already a user of it, definitely you can sign in. But if you're not a new user, then click on register. Fine. And then first of all, select your country or region. So you go ahead, simply select India. If you're from India, otherwise your country. Fine. Then first name I'm typing out Abraham. Fine. And Benjamin. Fine. And then what? So my team would blur out the email that I am putting here. Fine. So editing team, please edit it out. Fine. It should not be visible. And now Abraham 007. That's my username. And that's it. I agree to the terms and conditions mentioned here. So first of all, you'll have to click here. You'll have to accept them and then things would be done. So simply click on register. Once you click on register, it would move forward. Fine. I have clicked on register and it's loading. So you need to verify your email address to activate your account. In case the message is not in your inbox, please check in spam folder. So I'm going ahead and I'll be doing this on my phone. So all of you would get a specific email for code Vita. Fine. I have already clicked on that link. And that would basically simply mean that validity of my email address would be done. So my email address has been validated. And now I will reload this. Fine. And now you need to set up a mobile authenticator on your phone to actually activate your account. Okay. So you all you need to do is you simply go to Play Store. Fine. You install Microsoft Authenticator app. Once you up basically install it, <coughs> then in that same uh, particular app only, you will have a scanning option for this barcode. Fine. So this is a QR code that is given to you. I don't know why TCS has written it as, a, as barcode. Fine. You need not have this, but fine. It's a QR code. So all you need to do is you need to download the Microsoft Authenticator, set it up. Fine. And in that, you simply scan it. You simply open the scanner and scan it and I'll simply add work or school account and this would work for me. And then you'll be provided one time code by the application. Fine. So this one time code that you get here, you need to submit it here. Fine. So I'll go here. I'll scan this QR code and see. It has already added TCS code beta to me. It has given me a code and I'm adding it at in front of you. Three, eight, eight, two. Fine. And I'll submit it out. Once I submit it, this is how the whole page would look like. Remember, on the phone, there is a different outlook in the authenticator app. So one is the authenticator and in the bottom you have basically two divisions of authenticator and verified IDs. So you click on verified IDs and then go ahead and just scan the QR code. I just scanned the QR code and things work, worked for me. Fine. So it gave me a code. I entered that code. And now if you see, this is not actually complete, right? I need to add some number here. So I'll add my number here and again, 
after adding this number I'll go ahead I'll send the OTP to the same and I'll receive some OTP here so yes I have received one OTP so all I do is I add it phone number has been verified successfully now whatever your academic year of graduation is for example if you're 26 batch choose it if you're 27 batch choose 2027 20, if you're 28 batch choose 28 batch and if you're 29 batch it's for you fine so I'll choose 27 batch and nearest TCS location to my Institute let's take Bangalore fine so whatever your Institute is according to that put it here fine <coughs> according to that put the location and then I'll put say IIT Khadakpur fine it's not my college definitely but still I'm putting it out now you have to actually go ahead and add the CTDT reference ID from TCS next step now what is this you can add it later on also but remember even if you clear the rounds you will not get the interview call if you haven't put this reference ID now where do you get it remember this next step platform where you used to go ahead and actually follow the links where you had to go ahead and add CTDT reference numbers from TCS NQT so basically this number can be retrieved from the TCS NQT application if you have it great if you don't have it go ahead on TCS next step right now it is under maintenance and you reload it someday or the other it will open up so if you're not having it keep on opening it keep on clicking on this reload 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 summer sometime or the other it would open up and you go ahead you register on it and you would get your reference ID and you simply paste this reference ID now you can go ahead without this as well fine you need not to actually just remain fixated on this so if you're not having it you can fill it later on but remember do complete it before giving test that is important now you simply click on save and the profile changes have been saved fine now you have this contest when you open this contest you have whole guidelines you have if I show you I confirm that I've read and un understood these uh, instructions and if I go ahead and start contest it would simply give me the questions okay so it would give me a problem I'll have to share the solutions to them and then after sharing solutions I have to upload solution so do not start the contest do not start this contest until unless your profile is complete fine first profile completion should be done in case see this is 100% completed profile but if you carefully see I have not added this reference ID so you can add it later on but first of all complete the whole profile then add it so this contest would open up in front of you and then public test cases private test cases would be added so if I go ahead and I say yes I am going to submit something of my own so I am actually submitting my answer and if I say that I have not taken any help from online sources then this option should be ticked and this is the ideal option that you should take you should solve all the questions yourself also you have such different different questions fine so you can go ahead and solve them out solve all these questions try your level best and then once you submit you can choose a random file I'm choosing this PPT fine and I submit solution so unknown file type see you need to either submit on .c files or .cpp files or .java files or .c sharp files or .ruby files or python files or php files fine so that's how things would work here so I've shown you the entire process and this would help you out now it's high time that before you dive in here and start attempting better to prepare yourself how do you prepare yourself you go to prep insta prime fine you have very less time left at your end so do not waste time simply land on to prep insta prime here search tcs fine and once you search tcs here you would have all these courses of tcs fine so simply click on this tcs code vita this is a specific tcs code vita course go ahead follow all the questions here fine you'll have proper topics in a structured manner they would be in such structured manner that it can expedite your whole preparation in a very fast paced manner so I would suggest you go ahead join this out all you need to do to actually join here is you simply click on get prime you go ahead and you put any particular subscription that you want you simply type out shukla 10 fine and this would give you immediate discounts so do not miss out on this because you're having less time I can easily say that go on prepinsta.com fine and 
simply search TCS code beta. I can easily say this and you'll have TCS code beta previous year questions and answers. You can easily go ahead and check it out. You can easily go ahead and check it out. I don't have any problem with that. Fine. I don't have any problem with that. But here, when you're going ahead, here, when you're trying your level best, I would suggest give it a shot. Go ahead, work hard in this particular course so that at least you can prepare in a very fast paced manner and you can solve the maximum question in TCS code beta. Fine. So that's all for today's video. If you liked it, do subscribe to this channel and do not forget to follow any social media handle that is provided in the description box. Just go ahead, tap there because all those social media handles are actually giving you some very valuable information. And to all of you, I would suggest this. Go ahead, follow them out and keep doing good for others without any expectation. As I always say, good will come back to you. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.